Uh, Ryan, two from two heading into this weekend's game. Obviously, the win against St. Austell probably expected, but nice to get it done. Yeah, Gales stuck to the game plan, created lots of chances, probably should have scored uh, more than we did. But again, I'd be more concerned if we didn't create the chances. So, yeah, positive result again to move on from the Crawley game. So, mm. yeah, really positive. And, and you were saying that, you know, a couple of girls got first goals for the club, first appearances, good performances. That's what. I suppose that game was about as well as keeping momentum going. Yeah, so we did have a little bit of squad rotation, give some girls a few more minutes. It was a perfect opportunity to do that. So Sam came in at centre-back and she got a full 90. Katie got a first full 90 for the club. And then Lily got on the score sheet. Probably should have had a hat-trick. She missed the penalty. Um, but she beat herself up a little bit about it. But, yeah, it's just fantastic for her to get off to the start we want for her. And hopefully she can progress and get a few more on the weekend. Mm. And this weekend is back to the league in Gillingham. Um, we've just been looking through how they've started the season. How would you assess their, their start? Yeah, so they've had three difficult games, really, and they've got four points. So if I was in charge of Gillingham, I imagine Josh is quite happy with the points returned from the three games. They beat Ipswich away. L narrowly lost to Watford and then drew with Portsmouth so I think he'll be happy they're well organised Josh has got um, playing some good football as well so we've done our homework looked at their strengths and weknesses and hopefully if we can stick to the game plan that we'll get the three points again we're looking for on Sunday yeah obviously this is, 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 is might sound like a stupid question but what are you looking for from, from Sunday's performance um, being at home we need to make it a bit of a fortress. It's a long way to come. Mm. Teams don't like coming here. We don't like going away. So um, hopefully we can get the three points um, and just keep building on the momentum. Performance levels are getting better each week. So again, just keep moving in the right direction. Um, and like you say, just a reaction from the girls, sticks to the game plan. And that's what we're looking for Sunday. Yeah, and I suppose going into this sort of game, we mentioned their form being pretty decent with a tough start to the season. You know, a good side the form we're coming in on though you'd expect it to be quite a close okay yeah so even last season we played them twice they they narrowly beat us twice last season and it was um very competitive i think the away game we equalized in like the 88th minute and they scored in the 93rd so just to nick the three points but they've both been both games last season were close game so again I'd expect a close tough fought game so yeah we, we sort of know what we're expecting from Gillingham um, and like you say if, we, if we're on our day I, I think we can beat anyone in this league and um, so we've just got to look at what we do well and try and hurt them in the areas we think we can. Yeah and just finally um, obviously a few, few weeks into the season good month into the season now um, is it beginning to really take shape players kind of gelling with each other the new ones that they come in and, and what have you yeah so it took a little while to get everyone moving into Plymouth mm. we've obviously we've got some girls who have moved down for university some uh, Katie moved over from Ireland so everyone's at training every week consistencies there we've spoke about it previously that when everyone's at training we can work on certain things it's nice to have 22 players on a Thursday night where we can work on shape and work on patterns of play um, so yeah, the understanding of how we want the girls to play and how the expectations are there now. So um, I think we can see that in the results. So hopefully we can continue that Sunday.